Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Looney. Welcome back to another Mainline Monday. Um, today we're going to be looking at some basic matchbox. Uh, like I picked up yesterday when I was out and about on my travels. Um, there wasn't much to really pick up, to be honest. Everything's out of stock because of Christmas and it's not not a lot to really find, to be honest. But uh, nonetheless, I still managed to find some matchbox. Um, managed to pick up another Dodge D200, which was really cool. Um, picked up an old 65 Land Rover of some sort. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is this 65 Land Rover Gen 2. Now this one was already partially opened, but I haven't seen, I haven't got one of these yet, and I haven't seen any of these yet, so I picked it up anyway. I had a quick look at it, the vehicle was in mint condition, I just think either someone's tried opening it, or I don't know what's happened, but anyway, I still picked it up. So yeah, so this is a 65 Land Rover Gen 2, Generation 2. And that's the most easiest, say the easiest, I can't even get it out, unboxing I've had to do. Anyway, there it is. Really cool. It's a look at sort of the beige colour. All the graphics down the side. Unit three. It's got it's got a uh, dark black uh, blacked out windows on it. There's no tampers on this one anywhere apart from the sides. You've got some stuff on the roof going on. Got a chainsaw, some sort of uh, some sort of what looks like camping equipment, I presume. Lights. But yeah, so let's a quick look underneath. It is yeah, 65 Land Rover Generate Gen 2. Uh, can't see a date unless I'm going blind. Oh, there we go, copyright 2018. You've got some uh, diffs going on there. Yeah, cool. Anyway, that's that one. Oh, the roof's just dropped off. Excuse my camera flinging about there. Okay. Maybe the roof comes off. Oh. Anyway, so that's the first one. The second one's really cool. 1963 uh, Austin Healey Roadster. And uh, as soon as I've seen this, I had to get this. Get into it, that drop in the car today. And there it is. It's in what looks like a British racing green colour. It's got the match, famous matchbox sort of uh, dog dish hubcaps. I think that says uh, Healy 3000 on the back. It's got tampoed lights. All the fronts tampoed in. Really, really cool. They've, they certainly do go to town on some of their cars. And what I did find really cool was when I had to look through the box briefly. I don't know if I can pick it up on camera, but it even looks like it's got floor mats. And again, this one, not that I can probably get to. You can see it's got pedals. It's probably not very amazing to other people, but I'm, I'm amazed by it. For a basic car to have pedals and, and floor mats. Or simulated floor mats. So yeah. So that's a really cool casting. And then this one is 2016 Ford Interceptor. Yeah, cool. Let's see if we can get this without throwing it across the room. I like the little American flag here on the back quarter there. Got the light bar. <laughs> Quite a dark looking light bar. All the lights are tampoed on the, everywhere on it. Got the toe itch. Got the, uh, sort of, we call them in this country, in the UK we call them ball bars, but 
Got a sort of push bar there. And uh, search light. But yeah, very cool. That go to my collection of police cars that are slowly, or police vehicles that are slowly, slowly growing. So we've got a copyright 2018 Mattel. Yep, 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. Yeah, very cool. And then we're going to take a look at another, like I said, I've, it's the second one I've got now. 63 Dodge D200. I picked one up a few weeks ago, which I showed in a previous video. It's in, like I said, it was in a, I think it was in a five pack. Um, it's in like a weird sort of tangerine coloured orange with matchbox written down the side. It's a cool vehicle, but I do like this in black, I must admit. I've been after one of these for a while. There it is in black. Dodge D200 on the side. Got a red red line down the side with some silver accent. It's not much to say really, same vehicle, just different paint colour. But like I said, being in black, I just think makes it look really cool. See if we can find the um there's a there's a pale blue one going around, but I haven't seen one yet. But yeah, and then we got one bonus vehicle that somebody, a friend of mine, gave to me. He said, You collect Matchbox, don't you? So I said, Yeah, and he gave me this. Yeah, really cool. Um, Matchbox Speed Shop. Now, this, I'm gonna look on the bottom because I've forgotten already. It's uh, Matchbox Super Fast from 19. It's copyright on this, I can see it. I'll have a quick look off camera, two secs. Yeah, it's a Ford Model A, and copyright 1979, so it's fairly old, but it still rolls really nice. It's not been played with as far as I can see. It was just something my mate had for a long time. Said he picked up a while ago and didn't pay a lot for it, and thought I'd like it because I'm doing more Matchbox stuff now. Um, and it is, so I have to say thank you to my friend for doing that. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's got sort of, sort of, I don't know what you call that, sort of, um, I don't know, it's got like gold act, what well, there's a name for it in there. But um, my brain switched off at the minute. But yeah, it's, it's it, like I said, it, apart from it's a little bit dusty and I haven't really cleaned up, it's got a few chips on it. Um, but it's in pretty much for its age in really good condition. So the plastic's not, you know, usually on cars of this age, the plastic starts to go black or chip off on the, on the um, I'm sorry, on the chrome work. It sort of starts to um, go black and fade and yellow sometimes, but this hasn't. Like I said, I'm going to give it a bit of a dust up and get some of the, get some of the dirt off it, but it's in really good condition for something of uh, this vintage. It's another writing on the tyres there. Yeah, really cool. But uh, anyway, something a bit different. But anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. I've got some uh, more Hot Wheels ID cars coming that they should hopefully be here in the next few. I'm hoping they'll be here in the next few days. And um, I've got the also the ID tracks should be here soon. So that should be interesting. Anyway, see you soon.